interview? We were sitting in the kitchen eating dinner with our children and Carrie Roberts was in a different room, but she was going on and on and on as she does. Was I asked what she said? I get to ask the questions. What? I get to ask the questions. Well, I'd like you to direct me where to look. I was more focused on her and her hysteria. The car didn't. I did because Karen Reed had told me that she had left him there. Because she was so hysterical and so upset. Erratic. Um, was it into voicemail before you hung up? So it was a bit of a hysterical scene that morning, and I was in a state of shock, and I was just calling my sister and my brother in law. With Brian <laughs> Albert there within your shot. And you discussed your version of what had happened. I didn't discuss my, much. I sat there in shock and horror. So I spoke very little, to be honest with you. But when you did speak, he could hear. Yes. And Nicole could hear. Yes. And Chris Albert could hear. Chris came much later. Before you left, another Albert came over to the house, correct? I don't recall seeing him. <laughs> him. Kevin Albert. How'd you know I was talking about Kevin Albert? Because you said another Albert came over, and I was... Six brothers. I was told later it was Kevin. I see. So you believe that Kevin was not there when you, came, when you were still there? I was in a state of shock. He may have I'm walked asking, in. I'm, I'm telling you, I said the taillight was cracked. This is another example of him screwing up your words. Correct? You'd have to ask Trooper Proctor. So I'm asking you... Did you say, I saw a crack in it? Used were that you saw, and I'm not, I'm not fighting you on those words. You saw that it was cracked. You actually said, I saw a crack in it, correct? That's what he said I said. I'm telling you, I said the taillight was cracked. This is another. That was my description. Got it. So in a state of shock, you said there was a crack. Yes, it will say that I said it was cracked and missing pieces. Right. Does that look like it's cracked and missing pieces, or does that look like the entirety of the taillight is basically gone? Again, in that picture, there are the red pieces. There are some of it still there. So it was cracked and missing. In a state of shock, that was my description. So in a state of shock, you said there was a crack in it. No. Hours after. I said it was cracked. I never said there was a crack in it. So. Conversations with my daughters. And they said absolutely yes, that I could. So other than calls with your daughters that you deleted, did you delete any other calls on your phone at all? It was text messages. It was actually text messages with my daughters that I deleted. And that was all I deleted. Did you delete any phone calls? I do not recall deleting any phone calls at all. I would have no reason to delete anything. So that's very different than I didn't delete any phone calls. I do not remember deleting phone calls. Means you might have. In day-to-day -day life, people delete things, but I do not recall deleting any phone calls. In day-to-day -day life, did you delete any of the calls to John O'Keefe. No, I wanted to ask Carrie. I didn't, I'm sure she was boggled down and probably did not want to speak with anyone. It was a simple thing. I made sure I got Carrie Roberts' number so I could check in and see how John was doing. Also, we had just been through an extremely traumatic event together. There's nothing evil here. Carrie Roberts' number, Ms. Did you ask Carrie, or did Carrie come up, show up at your house? and quote-unquote go over a timeline with you. Carrie showed up asking to sit down with me to do a timeline so we would remember everything that had happened. So you made sure that you created and drafted with Carrie Roberts a timeline for her, correct? I didn't make sure of anything. She was the one that asked me to do it. And not only did you create a timeline later in the evening, so I think you might have two events confused. So either way. Is an extremely blunt person, and she was giving 
personal feelings about the situation and room. And the one she did on the phone, I I said, she's telling them everything because Carrie is an extremely blunt person and she was giving personal feelings about the situation. And I was horrified by it. To the police. Yeah. And then when I confronted you with the text message where you said, She's telling them everything. Now it's, well, I may have heard a couple of things. Which is it? No, she was going on and on and on like she does. And you were listening on and on and on like you do. I was probably hearing bits and pieces. Why was it so important to report back to the group that you were happy that Carrie Roberts was saying, quote, everything? Objection. I'll allow it. We had both lost our friend. Kerry Roberts was in shock, as was I in shock. The two of us had all this information that just kept coming back to us and back to us. And it was, it's terrifying when you you go through an experience and you're in shock. And Kerry was on this side, there's no story. The story that you've created is not the truth. Did I create a bit extreme? I see. So you, you take issue with the way that I phrased over and over and over. Well, it's misleading, I believe. And, you know, just saying, oh my God, this is so crazy. You know, just checking in on the O'Keefe's. How long did that take? Well, that ta- carries the talker. So I, I, could have been an hour. 